Good morning. Weekend's here. We're out and about again. Um, just come out in the countryside. Uh, another little, a little owl spot again. Um, not been to this one before, so not really sure where I'm looking for them. Got a rough idea, but um, not really sure. So uh, not sure we're going to have much success this morning. But uh, sounds like a, a nest of buzzards over the back of me. So um, we've just been trying to trying to see if we can see them as well. Um, uh, making making quite a racket occasionally, so uh, we'll see if we can get anything from those as well. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have a mooch around. Um, this could be a one-day video, it could be a two-day weekend video. Um, it might not be a video if we don't get anything. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. But uh, Beautiful day. I mean, yesterday was a real hot day. Um, this morning it's uh, it's cooled down a bit, but it's a lovely day again out here. Um, and one thing uh, I want to say is um, a thank you to all my subscribers because um, I'm actually up to about 990 subscribers now, looking for that 1,000 um, subscriber milestone. Um, so yeah, really thanks to you guys. And, and uh, what would be great if you could help me try and get to that thousand is just, uh, you know, if you can share the videos um, and uh, if you're new around here, if you, if, you know, it'd be great to have you on board to subscribe as well as we pass that thousand, uh, thousand subscriber milestone, it'd be really good. So uh, yeah, so whatever you can do to help me, I'd appreciate that. And, and I say thanks to all of you that's been following along on my videos and commenting and liking and etc. Uh, it's been quite a long, long slog. It's it's been, you know, uh, a year, but really enjoyed it, and I'm uh, really enjoying it more and more as we go along. So, um, so we're going to continue see what we can find. As I say, just out and about this weekend, and hopefully we can find you some nice stuff. I'm just watching this uh, clump of trees up here and this is where I can hear can you hear that sounds like a buzzard um, I think there, I think there might be some youngsters up there the way they're making noise you can hear and they're up in the trees somewhere I can't actually see them with all the uh, forage on the trees. I did see them come out once and tried to get a couple of shots but they uh, they disappeared around the corner. Um, but occasionally they get quite excited and I don't know whether that's because there's an adult coming back to the nest or, or what really. Um, but I'm just going to stick around and see if we can see anything for a little while. It doesn't look like we're going to find much around here today. Um, so let's move on, see if we can find anything else, somewhere else. So we've just parked up here for a bit. There's, uh, when we arrived, there's a, there's a big old tree up here. Um, when we arrived, there was a buzzard sitting in the tree. Uh, as soon as I opened the window and put the camera out, it, it took off. Um, but it has been circling around the area. It looks like it's hunting around the area. Um, did come back to the tree once very briefly. So we're just going to sit in the car here, um, see whether see whether that reappears, whether we can get a few shots of the buzzard hunting. Um, but also, just in the entrance of the field here, there's an old plough. Um, which the farmers put there just to block people getting into the field. 
Um, so I've just scattered a little bit of bird food on there as well, a bit of bird seed, and um, just see if we can attract anything, because there's a few little birds around the area as well, so um, see if we can get anything on there as well. So uh, yesterday was a bit of a, a lost day. We didn't really get a lot with that. Um, but today we've come out, come out looking for red kite. Uh, come to an area I've been to before where there's quite a lot of red kite around the area. Um, there's, there's one actually up in the tree at the moment over there. There's a few been circling around, but quite high at the moment. So we're just gonna see if we can get some nice images uh, and maybe a bit of video of the, uh, the kite flying around. It's a nice day for it, it's a nice warm day. Um, so uh, they should be circling, although they're probably circling quite high because it's quite warm, which might make it a little bit difficult. Um, but we'll see what we can get. There's also a lot of little birds fluttering around here, so we might get, uh, get a few other things as well while we're here. Um, but nice peaceful area, you know, just out in the country. Saw a fox on the way over, um, just crossing around in front of me. Wasn't in too much of a rush to get off, but tried to pull up and see if I could get a shot of it, but unfortunately, uh, uh, no joy, it disappeared and, and off it went. So, uh, so yeah, let's see if we can uh, get something with these uh, beautiful red kite. So we've just got a, a red kite sitting in the tree. A little bit distant from us at the moment. But it looks just so majestic just sitting up in the tree there. Absolutely beautiful. You just survey the area to see what's around. Guess you may have already been hunting or looking to go hunting. Yeah. Let's see what else we can find. just got a little uh, little bird fluttering around in the hedge over here just coming out and getting some uh, picking up the seeds and things so uh, I'm not sure whether it's a cold tit um, I thought it was a black cat but looking out I don't think it is I think maybe cold tit marsh tit something like that probably cold tit I would imagine um, but if you know you know drop it in the comments below and let me know um, it's just in and out of the hedge over here so let's just go and see if we can get some shots of that So just checking out uh, my Collins app. Um, yeah, marsh tit, coal tit, willow tit. I think I'm probably going to go for um, for marsh tit at the moment, but um, could be wrong. So as I say, please let me know. Drop it in the comments and let me know. Uh, let me know what you think it is. Well, 
we're struggling with the kite at the moment. Uh, first got here, there's quite a few around, but couldn't really get any decent shots too far away. Um, maybe got something as one up in the tree, but gone quiet at the moment. There's a nice little track just up here, um, which looks quite interesting. I sort of half expect a deer or a fox to wander across there. So we're just starting to get a few more um, both uh, both kites and buzzards at the moment, so uh, starting to warm up a little bit. Let's got a few circling around up here now. Just got a couple of uh, red kites hunting over the field over here, all around this area. They seem to perch in the trees at the top, and then they'll come down and they'll hunt in the field. Um, two, possibly three of them. So let's we'll see if we can get some videos and images of those. Um, they seem to be coming quite close. Sometimes they're coming over the top of us as well, which is quite nice. Just got a couple of red kites just hunting over this field that's in front of us now. It's just dropped down into the field. Oh, he's off again. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful bird. So just been uh, the red kite's just been hounded by the crows a little bit now, as you can see. Just chasing him off. Chasing him towards me a little bit, which is a good thing. It's certainly not been as easy as I hoped it would going to be. Um, uh, not not been as many rounds as I'd hoped, but.
but uh, enough to get some decent shots and a little bit of video as well. So, um, and the the uh, marsh tit, willow tit, cold tit, whatever it was, absolutely fantastic. Lovely to see that as well. So uh, that's been good as well. Um, yeah, time for me to shoot off. Um, so uh, if you like the video, please drop a thumbs up below for me. That'd be great. Um, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. It'd be great to have you on board to follow along with my videos. Um, and in the meantime, have a great day, whatever you're doing, and I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.